ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Citizens' protest meeting, Tuesday in Cottonwood. Here, Jason Roach speak against crime. Cottonwood town with much crime, Chief Miss Evans. Too much. Yet most of its citizens are decent, law-abiding. Ah, but them afraid of outlaw guns. Jason wrote plenty brave men to speak against gunmen. Hey, you're right, Tonto. I'd like you to ride into town, see what the citizens are saying. Then meet me back here later. I say to you, we must drive crime from Cottonwood. I tell you, outlaws must go. They've made a mockery of law and order. We must fight them, drive them from our sight. People of Cottonwood, remember what George Washington said. Our enemy leaves us only the choice of brave resistance or abject submission. We must conquer or die. Ah, who cares about George Washington? There. Look at the worst sinner of all, Dave Spence. Look at the killer who brazenly mocks the immortal words of the father of our country. I can handle you, you loudmouth reformer. You dare to threaten me, you dirty gunman? Look at the braggart who is evil in body and spirit, whose ugly little soul is dark and stained. <laughs> oh, that's a speech from Dave Spence. You want to hear any more? Try following me. Father. Avenge me, Mark. Take up my fight. Who lives by the gun? Shall die by the gun. Tell him what happened. Him outlaw. Kill Jason Rose. Close, keep it heavy. Yes, Tonto. Let's keep him busy. He's got a good position. But if you cover me, I could rush him from here. Not too dangerous, keep it heavy. We can't let him keep us pinned down. Uh, me have idea. Look there. Me climb there. Not high enough. You couldn't hit him from there. Uh, not hit him, but keep him busy, maybe. Watch yourself. Thanks, I'm happy right here. Wait! Wait, stop! I give up! I give up! Throw out your gun! And your six gun, too! Lock him up tight, Pete. That's it. Oh, jailer, the judge is too old to be of much use. That's all the law we got left in this town, mister. Unless you've changed, Judge Talbot. That's a lot of law for any man's town. Well, I can jail him and hang him, but I'm past the age where I can chase him down and arrest him. 
We owe you some thanks for kitchen spins. No thanks to us. Can't you hire a new marshal? Uh, either everybody in town is afraid of little Dave Spence, or they owe Ben Jordan some money. Jordan partners with Spence? Yeah, they run the town. Speak of the devil. Meet Ben Jordan. Judge, who is this man? And what right has he to arrest Dave Spence? Every citizen has a right to arrest a criminal. Citizens arrest Ben. It's all very legal. Well, I'll vouch for the masked man, his Indian friend. Completely law-abiding, both of them. Law-abiding? With a mask? I call this mighty funny business. And you would, Ben. Well, what's Dave's bail? And no bail on a murder charge. No bail? You'd better change your mind, Judge. I can change my mind, but I can't change the law. Now, Dave Spence will get a fair trial. Then we'll hang him. The rope isn't made that'll hang Dave Spence in Cottonwood. Oh, shucks. Made me drop a stitch. You know, my nerves ain't what they used to be. You shouldn't play with a derringer, Judge. <laughs> Nosy? Baker. <laughs> Tano, I'd like to call on that reformer's son before we leave Cottonwood. Wait a minute. I'll go with you. You know Mark's all alone now. He just might need a little help. I don't need any help. As long as I have this. The righteous wrath that Jefferson made blaze in freedom's name. I want to thank you for delivering my father's murder to me. I didn't deliver him to you, Mark. I delivered him to the law. The law stands for justice. And justice demands that I kill him. Does it? Not in my book. Now look here, Mark. You get that nonsense out of your head and put that gun away before you hurt yourself. Oh, I won't hurt myself, Judge. Here. Root each and spin. Now, where'd you ever learn that? My father taught me two things. Speed with a gun and respect for the great men of American history. All my life, I've wondered why those two things went together. But now I know. It was to prepare me for this day when I shall avenge a great American by destroying his killer. A few gentlemen will excuse me. Mark, wait. <laughs> Sorry I had to hit him. Oh, don't feel too bad. You had to do it for his own sake. That poor kid, you know, he's one of the kindest, most gentle youngsters in Cottonwood. His father's death was quite a blow to him, I guess. It was more than that, Judge. Oh, it'll pass. I'll get the doc over. He'll be all right tomorrow. I doubt it. I doubt it very much. You worried about that Mark boy, Kimisami? Yes, Tano, I am. He's sick. Sick in the mind. Ah, uh, good and bad all mixed up. You use words of wise men, but give them different meaning. Exactly. I hate to think of what might happen if Dave Spence goes free. No chance, Kimisabi. Jordan and Spence control town, but not control judge. All right, come on, man. Come on, get in here. Don't be all day about it. Get in those seats. Get in those seats. Hurry up here. Now take those hats off, all of you. Just watch that mark, Root. I don't like the look in his eye. Let's hear from the jury. Jury, you reached the verdict? We sure have, Your Honor. We find Dave is innocent. Innocent? Half the men on that jury saw him kill my father. Guilty little murder. What gives you the special right to go unpunished from this crime? Do you call this justice? Has Dave spent so powerful in this town that law and order can't touch him? It's cold-blooded murder. Are you going to let him back? Thank you. Dave threw first. And I ain't forgetting that it was your gun he found so handy. I rule that Mark here shot in self-defense. Case closed. Free the court. Take it easy, Mark. It's all over now. It's just begun. I've drawn the sword of righteous wrath. And with it, I shall clean up this town. There never was a town more in need of it. You mean what you say, and I think you do. I mean every word of it. How'd you like to wear this Marshall star? 
proudly, sir. Proudly. Thank you. You're making a serious mistake, Judge. Mark Road is not a rational man. He draws fast, he shoots straight, and he hates crime. That's everything we need in a marshal. You've given a sick man the authority to kill. Ah, kill outlaw. Maybe innocent men, too. Ah, not him, not Mark Road. He's a good boy. And to make room upon the earth for honest men to live in. Take a look, Judge. Take a good look what's in store for the town of Cottonwood. And now I say, make room for honest men. And let others watch out. Why don't you raise our new speech-making marshal, Stacy? I like breathing. Scared? Not of you, Ben. You could beat him, Stacy. Maybe, maybe not. There's one man who could. Baxter Crow. Fastest gun north of Mexico, until he quit to play farmer. First trip he's made to Cottonwood in some time. Why don't you uh, tip off the new marshal that Baxter Crow the killer? Let's come back. <laughs> You're a smart weasel, Ben. But you got cheated on that vest. <laughs> Baxter! Well, Mark, I haven't seen you since you were a button. Uh, how's your father? Dead. Shot down by a murdering gunfighter like yourself. You're riding the wrong horse, Mark. I hung up my guns a long time ago. After you killed how many men? I gunned down some men in gunfights, yes. But that's all past. I paid for my mistakes. I'm a farmer now, and I'd like to forget about guns. Forget but not repent. Mark, Mark, I, I've got enough worries. The drought has ruined my crops, and I need a big loan or I'll lose my ranch. Baxter, you get out of Cottonwood, fast. After I see the banker. Now. But I told you I need a loan. Now. What are you trying to do, drive me to take up my guns again? Are you trying to make me steal instead of borrow? Now that you're wearing that badge, I should think it would be your duty to help men go straight, not drive them crooked. I'm driving you just one way, Baxter. That's out of Cottonwood. Now ride. Good for you, Marshal. Nobody's pulling the wool over your eyes. Stacy, I think tonight's a good time to hit the bank. While we're enjoying our loot, <laughs> we can watch while that new marshal goes gunning after Baxter Crow. Somebody right, Sam? I wonder who it is. It's been a long time, Baxter. Too long. If I wasn't so miserable, this would make me very happy. You'd better have some coffee. Tell me what's wrong. robbery and murder. I destroyed this unholy sinner, but Baxter Crow got away. Baxter? We just see him riding home. He was circled back then. It couldn't have been Baxter, Mark. I say it was. He told me he was going to steal from the bank. That's what I get for being merciful. Him dead, he must have me by him. Smell of horses like stable. Stable? Time to ride to Baxter's ranch as fast as you can. Tell him to hide out before Mark comes looking for him. What do you do, Kimasami? I'm going to Ben Jordan's livery stable. I might find the answer there.
What are you doing here? I'm here to ask you about a bank robbery. I'm sure you won't mind answering a few questions if you weren't involved in it. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. That looks like a bank wrapper. Suppose it is. Stand aside, Jordan. I want to take a look at your safe. No use looking for your guns, mister. I locked them up in my safe. Well, it's no good. Tyler knows I came to see you. Yeah. And that's why it'd be bad if your body was found at my livery stable. You've got to vanish. But it'd be mighty hard to make a man on his horse disappear in town, so I figured to do it the easy way, up here in these hills. What about that money? Well, I'll ride over to Twin Springs and put it in a safe deposit box under a false name and let it cool off. Very clever. But you're underestimating Tonto. Oh, he might find you if he's real good, but... Chances are it'll take him a while, and by then you'll be bones. Nature works fast in these parts, masked man. Well, come on, we got a long way to go. The nice thing about a skeleton is it's hard to tell who it used to belong to. And it's even harder to prove murder, or who did it. Well, this is it, masked man. Sorry this happened, Jordan. Funny, I I had everything figured so good. Then I get licked by a smart horse. Hello, did you warn Baxter Crow? Yes, Kim Asabit. Me give him your message. Him in hiding now at Spit Rock. Good. I know Mark. He's gunning for him right now. Ah, if he find him, he'd kill him. Not if I can help it. There's your bank robber. You take him to town. I'm going to split rock. I hope I can get there in time to prevent a murder. Uh, you not have gun, Kimisabi. You take mine. Oh, you might need it. Tell the judge I'll get the money to him as soon as I can. Jordan is the guilty man. He confessed to me before he died. No. You're lying. Here's the stolen money. No. No, it was Baxter. Mark, you don't understand. You're sick. You'll be gunning down an innocent man. You're in it with him. You're trying to save him by returning the money, but it won't work. It won't work, I tell you. He's a killer. He's not a killer. But you'll be if you gun him down. I have the right. This badge is my authority, and this gun will back it up. A gun in the hands of an irresponsible lawman is just as bad as a gun in the hands of an outlaw. He's unarmed. He's at your mercy, just as I am. Mark, think. Think, Mark. But my father... Mark, your father was the last man in the world who'd ever want you to commit a crime in his name. Crime? What do you think you'd say if he saw you like this? A man with a badge, a gun, and a bloodlust in his heart? Me? Bloodlust? Surely among the things he taught you, he must have taught you this. Judge not, that ye be not judged. Yes, he did. He did teach me that. Oh, Father. Oh, Father. Oh, Father. Easy, Mark. Easy. Ah, 
I'll take care of him. You're going to need a lot more than care, Baxter. Needs treatment. I'll see that this money is returned to the bank. Don't worry. You'll get your loan. Adios. He helped me. I didn't even thank him. You don't need to, son. No one has to thank the Lone Ranger. Thank <laughs> you.